desire can be yours. Dreaming about her again? It's not funny, Alara. These dreams feel so real. And this one ended in a way I did not like at all. Hmm, no happy ending this time? What a shame. Kadek, you keep dreaming about a woman you don't even know. It's probably a combination of that barmaid you couldn't keep your eyes off of and a piece of undigested boar meat. Well, rotten boar meat would explain the ending. Let's get some sleep. We need to be at the Fountain of Alicia by morning. I tell you, Alara, there was something about that dream. It may have been some kind of omen. You're being paranoid. I'm being cautious. If something's waiting for us, it's best to be prepared. You worry too much. And you don't worry enough. Worrying gets you nothing but wrinkles, old man. Old man? <laughs> You're twice my age, elf. And half as mature. Hmm, and ten times prettier. There. The entrance to the fountain is just across that bridge. So it is. What do you say we go make a fortune, girl? The wizard who hired us said this job was a cakewalk. There! Did you see that? I saw something. Keep your bow up. I don't like this. Get up here. Looks like somebody lost some arrows. Better pick them up. Big ones. Hungry, too. You are not helping. You know how I feel about bugs. I... I hate Araclings. They're just bugs, Kadok. And I don't like bugs. Looks like someone helped us out by knocking over this tree. Let's use it. Use your sword, Alara. You can't shoot a path through overgrowth. Enemies! That 
wasn't so bad now, was it? I'll let you know once my skin stops crawling. In the meantime, fill your flask, girl. Hmm. All the mana water our client could ask for. Burning blood of the goddess. Elara, look here. I know that door. I saw it in my dream. It's an omen, Elara. We have to see what's in there. You know me. I'm always happy to open strange doors with screaming faces carved above them. Looks heavy. Better give me a hand opening it. Get over here and help me, Alara, before more crawlers show up. <laughs> Alara, over here. I think we can squeeze through. Stay sharp, girl. No telling what's down here. Your dream promised riches. It also promised a demon. Don't tell me you're afraid of demons as well as bugs. I'm not afraid of bugs, just... Concerned by them? Hmm. A man could retire to a place like this. You can retire when you're dead. No, you can't. Kadik, that strange stone. Yes, and stranger yet. It's the stone from my dream. Interesting. What is that? At last our paths have crossed, warrior. You? From my vision? Yes. My name is Seraphim. And those visions are a foretelling of the riches and power I can provide you. I told you, Alara. It was much more than just a dream. Wait, this is your dream girl? I'd say she looks <laughs> promising. Let us start with a favor. What do you need? Besides a little sun. There's no need for your snarky nature, Huntress, for what I require is quite simple. All I ask is for you to pick up the Death Stone before you. Pick it up? A Death Stone? The stone goes far beyond such literal nonsense. It has many powers. It allows me to channel the energy of certain crystals into its bearers. Collect these crystals and present them to me, and I can grant you powers beyond your wildest dreams. And where do we find these crystals? They lie scattered throughout the realm. Their capabilities forgotten to all but a few, so... Pick it up. But... It's a death stone, next to a dead body. Oh, you must trust me. Time is not eternal, and I need your aid. I am bound to the death stone, an artifact that stands between the living and the- Elara, no! Listening to me. He knows. He knows who I bonded with the stone. He's coming for You heard her? Run!
Right here. I have a vial you can use. know they're dead. I guess it's up to us. My That's what I needed. No weapon in sight. I think that worm food was pulling both our legs. Now, now. A death spirit wouldn't linger in this world just to lie to us. Ah! 